What's up, guys? It's Solace Kingdom there, King of Fourth here, guys. And I just wanted to come on here. Let me turn this off. Just wanted to come on here and inspire you guys, guys, to pray. I got my I Believe on. Just came back from working out. But I want you guys to pray about everything, whatever it is that you're doing. I want you to pray. Okay, I'm meditating right now. God told me to write this verse down and put it on a card. It's um Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God in the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. Will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Guys, whatever it is that you're doing. Hey, hey, how you doing, Miss Ariane? How you doing, Natasha, Ruben? Whatever it is that you're worrying about. If you're worrying about something, you can pray about it, guys. And I'm just, you know, coming back from working out. Got my, I believe I got your brother's shirt on. Missy Monice, but I got uh I believe shirt on working out and just got back in the house, guys. But God told me to meditate on this Bible verse, and I want you to do the same. What's up, Christopher? Meditate on this. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, in everything, whatever it is, whatever it is. Did you know that Jesus, before he picked his 12 disciples, he had a lot of people who are were in the lineup to be a disciple, but he went for the for the whole day he went up to pray he prayed on the decision and yes one of the disciples that he chose turned out to be somebody that would betray him but you know even when you pray you know everything is going to work out for your good because that disciple was supposed to be there right if Jesus would have looked at it from a different way like all the people that I choose are supposed to be with me then he probably would have messed up on his mission but he did what God told him to do even knowing that Judas was going to betray him, he needed Ju he needed he needed him. He needed that disciple to betray him to fulfill his purpose on earth, guys. But what you got to do is you got to pray about everything right here in the word in Philippians four, six through seven. It says, be anxious for nothing. Stop worrying. Stop being anxious. Stop wanting things to happen so quickly. Right. For you who are, you know, you have your own business. You want your business to grow so quickly. Right. It's a process to success. Enjoy the process. Right. I know the enemy does not want you to keep going. He wants you to get anxious and all that. He wants you to build up fear. He wants you to build up doubt. That's what he tries to do with me. Right. He, he does that with all of us. He wants to plant seeds of doubt and, and fear and frustration in your life. So you quit. So you give up. But that's why God said, pray about everything. So the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Because when you have peace, you can keep working and you'll have clarity. You will have clarity, right? And you'll know what it is that you be you should be doing in your business or whatever it is that your, your dream is or your goal is. When you have peace, you see things clearer. But when you're anxious, you miss out on things that God is trying to show you because you're so in a rush. It's just like somebody being in a rush to be in a relationship with somebody that they're not supposed to be with, right? They're so in a rush to have a child. They're so in a rush even before they're not even married. They're in a rush. You heard of that book by Divine Franklin? It's called The Wait, right? You, you got to be comfortable with waiting on the Lord because if you wait on him, he will give you the best. And that's in any area of your life, in a relationship, in your business. He'll bring the right business partners to you at the right time, guys. I've seen him do it for me. I've seen him do it for other people, right? Whatever it is, you need to wait on him so you can have clarity, right? But what it, it all starts with praying. Prayer changes things. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, in every situation, why, why worry when you can pray, right? If there's something you're going through right now, all you got to do is stop and say, Lord, help me, Lord. Lord, show me which way I need to go. Give me direction. Give me clarity on the vision that you've given me so I can do exactly what you want me to do, Lord. It, sa it says by prayer and supplication. Supplication means begging. It means asking, what are you asking God for? He said, ask, seek, knock. Keep on asking. See, see, here's the thing. You prayed one time and you don't see it, so you stopped. But he said, keep on asking. Keep on asking and you shall receive. Keep on seeking and you shall find. Keep on knocking and it shall... Be. God put the words keep on in front of everything in Matthew 7, 7. Keep on on purpose. Keep on keeping on. 
That's what my grandma tells me. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. If you give up, you're going to lose. The minute you quit, you lose. A quitter can never win and a winner never quits. And everybody that's watching here, you're a winner. A winner knows a winner. A winner attracts winners. I'm a winner. You're a winner. I am a winner. I am a leader. A leader attracts leaders. A leader can spot a leader from a mile away. A winner can see it, and it has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with outside. It, it all has to do in here. I can see if you're following Christ just by looking at you. I can see if you got your mind right just by looking at you. I can see it. I can see if you're wise just by looking at you. Right? Wisdom spots wisdom. Like attracts like. So guys, you have to keep asking God for whatever it is that you desire. You have to keep praying. Keep asking. And here's, here's the key. It says, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. Supplication means keep asking. Beg. Beg God. Beg him. Say, Lord, make it happen. Keep praying. Beg him. Keep saying it. Whatever it is that you want to have, come to him. Come boldly to the throne and ask him. Lord, please bless us. Lord, please do. Beg him. Ask him. Just like you would ask your mom and dad or ask somebody else for something. Ask him. How much more will your heavenly father give you something? You're so... Look, if you knew that I just got paid $10,000 and you're my sister or you're my brother, whatever... And you needed, you needed a hundred dollars, and you knew I had extra money. You would come boldly to ask me because you just saw I got paid ten thousand, and you know that I, I'm good, right? You would come boldly. You say, "Hey, Silas, man, I know you just got. I need your help, man." You can do the same with God. How much more will He give you what it is that you're asking for? The earth is His, and the fullness thereof. Everything is His. But are you asking him? It's more than money. I was just using that as an example. But what are you asking God for? Or what are you not asking him for? Or are you worrying, thinking that nothing is going to happen? Are you in doubt mode? The enemy wants you to have so much doubt that what you were, what you were believing for is canceled. He wants to fill you with so much doubt that what you were believing for is canceled. Because doubt cancels faith. Just like faith cancels doubt. Faith moves mountains while doubt creates them. Right? And then in here it says, Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgivings. While you're praying to the Lord, be thankful. Say, Lord, thank you for what it is that you're doing. Right? Thank you for everything that you're about to do. Thank him for the prayer that you just prayed. That shows that you believe. Thank him. Say, thank, thank you, Lord, for what it is that you're about to do. Thank you for answering my prayer. Let your request be made known to God and the peace of God and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So, guys, I want you to know when you're praying, every time you pray, say in the name of Jesus, say Father God and say your prayer. Let your request be made known. Pray and, and, and ask him to do what it is that you're praying for and say, Lord, thank you for answering my prayer in the name of Jesus. Always finish your prayers. In the name of Jesus. Saying in the name of Jesus, guys. So I love you. Have an outstanding day. Take care. And I pray that this little simple, you know, message impacted your life, guys. It, if it did in any way, share it. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to pray to God. And they need to ask, seek, knock. They need to ask. And the door will be given. I mean, the door will be. They need to ask, my bad. And they shall receive. They need to seek. And, it, and they will find. And they need to knock. And the door will be open unto them. Guys, I love you. What's up, Mike? God bless. Take care.